And with that in mind, thought we would tip things off this week with a bit of talk about what's happening in the in the community, in the, in the modding uh, community at the moment. Uh, first thing we want to note, of course, if you are thinking about picking up NBA 2K17 on PC, uh, heads up from D for 3 in the forums. Thank you very much, Derek, for the, uh, the heads up. Uh, NBA 2K17 PC is on sale through Steam, of course. Uh, 75% off, Ben, so that's down to 15 US dollars. Oh, nice. So that's a, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, there's... Uh, not everyone's been completely happy with 2K17, and the PC uh, has had some issues on some machines, usually with NVIDIA cards, although, although my gaming machine runs fine with its NVIDIA card and 2K17 PC as well. But for 15 bucks, it's it's obviously a lot to the game for that much. So if you have been looking to double dip, or if you've just been holding off the game, you want to get it uh, as well. I mean, it is obviously getting pretty late in the year, but if you did want to check it out, the, uh, the, the service should be up for a little while yet, <laughs> at any rate. <laughs> They, uh, it is available for $15. And if you are picking up the PC version, there are quite a lot of mods, Ben, being made for it at the moment. Which is great. Um, yeah, uh, to see that, especially, I guess, so late in the game cycle in, in terms for the for the year and that. Um, good to see people still uh, working hard on it. I remember patching for like NBA Live back in the day and occasionally go when you know it was getting closer to when the next game was to come out you know there'd be a slight lull in the amount of uh patches and stuff that gets released or mods and that that we used to work on so it's good to see that you know things are still progressing in terms of uh big big mods and patches stuff come coming out so definitely work the community uh, i mean everyone's sort of looking forward to the next game certainly the closer you get to the release and uh, but at the same time, you want to do something with the game during the off-season, give you something new to play with. Everyone's played through a season or two in my career or my GM, my league, uh, or, or play through my team or whatever. So, yeah, it's, it's great to have that new content there. I've got the list here for you just to talk about real quickly. Uh, there's an NLSC Realistic Community Roster, and that's made by uh, I Hate Mondays, Kev Meyer, Blue Jay Brandon, and JEDL. They've been doing some fantastic work to get a really comprehensive roster update done including uh, updated ratings, uh, badges. I think they've reworked the badges system, how they've assigned all the badges to players uh, for more realism and enhanced gameplay. Coaching profiles, points of emphasis have been updated. Rotations have been uh, modified for better, more realistic minutes and rotations. Uh, all done for more realism. They're currently working on both the 2017 and 2018 season rosters. So they're going to have two versions out, the kind of a final two, uh, 2017 roster and then the off-season roster with all the new rookies and everything. So again, a lot of the stuff we used to do. Um, haven't really had anyone really take on that community roster for 2K in the last few years, uh, mostly because it has changed because we haven't been able to uh, externally modify the rosters as easily as before. We don't have Red MC. We've had to work with the, the trainers and everything, which is a bit tougher and and such. But it is great to see them making such great use of the, the in-game tools to make this really detailed roster. So that's the NLC Realistic Community roster. Uh, more information in the releases and previews section in the under 2k17 in our forum and i shot the thread over to you ben and, and as you can see it's such a lot of work going into that uh, current roster oh yeah just just had a quick look through them all and like the links that you gave me for some other mode mods and stuff and yeah it's uh, it takes me back to the days and um but no it's, it's good work and hopefully they uh can get it out pretty soon obviously they'll be waiting for uh, all the free agency signings and all that stuff and all the confirmed rookie signings and all that so I, I imagine uh, the 2018 part would be out pretty soon if, if they do a two part release I guess maybe if they get the 2017 stuff out first and then yeah it's it's to be determined at the moment I haven't, don't want to set a specific date and hey Having done the roster updates for so many years for NBA Live, the unofficial NLSC roster updates, that is, or the NLSC branded updates, I should say, uh, yeah, sometimes you just don't want to put the date there because uh, people will hold it to you, even, <laughs> hold, hold, hold you to it, rather, um, even though when you, you say, look, it's a rough date, you know, this is something I'm doing in my free time, most people are very cool, but at the same time, it gets people's hopes up. Some people aren't as understanding, so I certainly understand not wanting to put a solid date. Uh, I think it's coming within the next few weeks. I think they're targeting, but certainly, you know, don't bug them. It is coming. <laughs> it is on the way. So you can check out that thread again in the releases and previews section for more information. 
And and speaking of the 2K17 rosters, you know, I mentioned D for three before he uh, put gave us the heads up on the uh, 2K17 sale. He of course has released his ultimate all times roster, sorry, ult, ultimate all time teams roster, which is the all time squads Ben for you know, so yep. with with the Bulls you you would have. Your Artis Gilmore, Jordan, Derek Rose, Scotty Pippen, Dennis Rodman, all all of them together, all the best players. So yep. that's always a cool, you know, the, the all-time teams roster. That's always a cool project. Uh, the Ultimate Fantasy Draft roster, which adds uh, 131 players to the to the rosters, and that's great for the well, again, an Ultimate Fantasy kind of draft for my league, where you can just get all these uh, historical players in there with the current ones as well, and just have these great fantasy rosters. And also the Ultimate Classic Team roster, which adds, adds a bunch of uh, new uh, classic teams to the game you know, from selected years. You can check them all out in the again in his release threads, all the details. So some great projects. I know he's taken a lot of time, a lot of uh, uh, care with that. And you can also check out his uh, YouTube channel, and you can check out that in the thread. He's been posting videos in the forum uh, showing off the rosters and explaining the rosters. So, yeah, once again... Those are huge projects, so uh, congratulations to D for getting those out, and, and thank you for sharing them and, and doing all that great work. And and yeah, it definitely check them out. So the other roster that we have uh, for 2K17 is actually on PlayStation 4, which uh, we could check out, or, or you can check out. I'm currently having issues getting onto uh, the PlayStation Network at the moment for some reason. <laughs> it's uh, something I'll have to troubleshoot when we finish recording, as, uh, as we said. But uh, Skills from the Six is actually creating updated off-season rosters for NBA 2K17 on PS4. Uh, if you want to download those, his PSN is uh, Skillers Kill. That's S K I L L A Z K I L L, and the roster name, the ID is Off-season Roster 2K17. All that information, again, he's posting in the in the releases and preview section of the forum. He's been adding draftees, Ben, prospects from his D League roster mod. And all the off-season transactions, he's just added the, the Chris Paul trade, which we'll talk about a little bit as well, <laughs> In the, as far as the real NBA is concerned, a little bit later in the show. So even on PS4, with putting those in-game editors to good use to make all those updated rosters. And again, great to see the community coming together and doing that stuff. As far as the older games are concerned, uh, there's been some updates to the uh, retro-season rosters for 2K13 PC by, uh, by Slim44, collaborating with uh, Sco Adam, of course. And Pat the Head. I know uh, Pat has just added a lot of uh, Slim 44's uh, roster edits to his uh, big roster project for 2K13, the Retro Season mod pack. And Slim's also updated some recent updates to the download section. It does need the rest of uh, the UR Basketball, URB, uh, to, to work properly. You can get that in the download section as well. All the links are there. And it looks like uh, both Slim and uh, Sko are working on some stuff for URB in the future for both 2K13 and 2K14. Some cool stuff, uh, future updates and that kind of thing. So still still getting some great updates for the older games as well that people still like to play. Some people still like to play those older games, Ben, uh, from the last gen if they haven't uh, got a PS4 or they don't really like the... or the, or the computer's not uh, uh, fast enough to run the 2K15 and onwards or they just simply prefer the older games as as and as you know it's been great to update we, we updated live for many years after the uh, after they were outdated uh, because people still enjoyed playing them and it was cool to update them with all the new season stuff oh yeah you know uh, definitely helped enjoy it a lot more in that sense so. so lots of great work still being done check out the forums for all the latest we'll always be posting the i guess i'll be posting the file editions bulletins as they come through on the on the on the front page keeping everyone up to date with the latest releases as best I can. You can always check them out in the forum in the download section, of course. That's uh, what our community has done so well for almost 21 years now, Ben. 21 years this August. <laughs> it's almost legal enough to drink in the US. Almost? So almost that yeah. <laughs> We're already there in Australia, I guess. So. <laughs> yeah, 